Groove Pool has got to be one of my favorite features of Ableton. It's so easy to use and you can completely transform your song or beat with just a few clicks. It's a great way to add a human feel to your music without having to actually play all of the instruments. The nice thing is though, if you know how to play some instruments, you can actually extract those grooves and use them. So before we get into the weeds, let's go ahead and just jump into Ableton so I can show you what I'm talking about. The Groove Pool lives down here in this little icon. Looks like some waves. If you click that, it's gonna show you your Groove Pool. To get to your grooves though, in Ableton 11, they're gonna be under this category section. It's gonna say grooves. If you are in Ableton 10 or earlier, they're probably gonna be in this user library section under grooves. So here are the grooves. And these are basically just little audio files that play in a rhythm. And Ableton can extract that rhythm and use it on other audio or MIDI files. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So we'll just take this one as an example. I'll drag it into my groove pool and now it's in here. Now there are a few ways you can add this to your MIDI clip. You can drag them right onto the MIDI clip and it'll automatically select it. You can also drag it down right to this groove section and it'll also do it. If, if they're in your groove pool though, you can click this little drop down and select them here. So now that we got this selected, let's hear what our drum beat sounds like. So that completely changed the feel. Let's go ahead and listen to it before. So as you can probably hear there, this timing is basically your mix. This will adjust how much of the timing is affected by the groove. Uh, you also have this velocity, which if it's at 100%, you're taking 100% of the velocity. See how these little clicks have different volume? It's going to use that. It's going to extract that and turn it into velocity on our MIDI clip. So if it's at 100%, it's going to make the loud parts of this audio loud in your drum clip and the less loud parts less loud in your drums. If it's at negative 100%, it's going to do the exact opposite. So basically these loud parts are actually going to be quiet. And these quieter parts are going to be loud. Quantize is going to quantize before the groove. So I clicked these in so that are 100% on beat, but essentially if you played something in, this quantize is going to quantize it before hitting the timing of the groove. Random is just going to add a randomized element. So I'll go ahead and dial this up while the beat is playing. So it kind of just makes it sound more drunk and it's something you can play with to get some cool effects. The bass section is going to control basically how the groove is affecting your MIDI or your audio, whatever it is, uh, whether it's 16th notes, 8th notes, you can adjust that as well. So now that we know how to use grooves, let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun. We'll kind of select through some grooves here and try and find one that we like. I like this swing one, so I'm going to drag that in there and let's find one more that sounds good. Let's try this swing logic. So we have those in our groove pool now. We can come down here and select them. Let's go ahead and play the beat and switch. Let's go ahead and listen to it in context. Now what we can do is we can also apply that groove to our guitar if we want. So let's go ahead and select it here and listen to that. This is going to apply warp markers to audio. So you can actually use the warp modes to affect this further. So let's say you like that groove and you want to commit it. Well, this little button with this arrow over here commits it. So as soon as I click that, you can see all the MIDI shifted over. The velocities changed. Everything was affected. This works for audio as well. As soon as I click commit, it's going to show all of our warp markers. If you want to undo this, command or control Z as always. So let's say nothing in the groove pool is working. Well, what you can do is you can actually extract grooves from audio. In this case, I actually played a little groove on a guitar and this is what that sounds like. So literally just strumming the strings, no notes were played at all. And we can actually use Ableton to extract this groove just by right clicking and going to extract grooves. What that's gonna do is it's going to extract it and immediately move it to our groove pool. This is great because let's say you recorded a guitar part but used the MIDI for drums. You can take that human feel from the guitar 
extract it and move it to your MIDI drums. You can see how this is pretty powerful. So here it is. I have it in my groove pool now as audio four, and I want to apply that to my drums. It's the same as before. You just come in, go to your groove section and select, in my case, audio four, because that's what the clip is called. Before I play it, I'm going to turn the groove off on the guitar and let's go ahead and hear. So if I play that with the groove that I recorded from the guitar, you can hear how they're fitting together better. You can also extract grooves from MIDI. So if you wanted to, you could actually just play a key on the keyboard to the rhythm that you want, extract that, put it in your MIDI. You can see how this is really powerful. So for me, I kind of dialed things in. I'm using this Swing MPC one dialed into these settings. I'm not using it on the guitar, but I am using it on the drums. Let's go ahead and hear how it sounds. So yeah, that is Groove Pools. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot to them and they're really, really powerful. So um, just mess around and have fun with them. You're going to find something you like, I guarantee it. Just dive in and have some fun. If you guys have any questions on this topic, leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to help you out. Also, just wanted to throw this out here. Thank you guys so much for helping me hit a thousand subscribers. I had a goal. I wanted to hit it by the end of the year and literally two days before I hit a thousand. So thank you guys. Uh, it really means a lot hitting that goal for the year. Um, and yeah, now we're on to newer, bigger and better things. So just keep an eye out. I have big plans for this channel and I just wanted to thank you guys for your support. That being said, if you guys did like the video, go ahead and leave a like, comment and subscribe. Got plenty of content planned for the future, so you're definitely going to want to stick around. Other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.